Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Oh yes, the president is using his charm offensive. You're going charm offense? Charm offense? What in the world is that? Oh, wait a minute, because see, part of it is it is time to raise taxes for those greedy elite. Yes, it is because what? They have unjustly profited. Oh, you know. I know. Are we being a little sarcastic? Well, sometimes it just sounds about like that. Anyway, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually, you would believe it because they're viciously attacking Republicans because they, uh, the president may have to act all on his own to save the nation because the sequester stuff is starting to hit everybody very hard and that the people of this nation are demanding that things be done and that the Republicans refuse to, uh, to raise revenue that will hurt everybody else. The only problem is that they can't find any evidence whatsoever that sequester is having any effect. And immediately, as the governor is supposedly giving out, out with his, uh, his pink slips, they had 6,000 new job openings in the government. They're not only not, they're, they're, they're hiring people, folks. Second, you can't give a pink slip to a federal employee because the civil service doesn't allow it. You could basically delay, lay them off, but you still got to pay them. They're civil service employees. So, and then, well, they did shut the White House down because of George Bush and the Republicans, which they actually, that was a mistake when they said George Bush and the Republicans. They meant the Republicans. Mm -hmm. And corporations are Supreme Court to embrace gay marriage. Well, Herbie Daddy has been around for a long time. That's why he's great, gay. And he said, uh, he, he said that their corporations are not embracing gay rights because it means they have to change their entire corporate pay, they have to change all the benefit programs, it's going to cost them. They said it will cost the companies to give gay, have gay marriage, gay rights across the United States will result in a trillion dollars of new expenditures over the next decade. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to happen. They're not going to spend the money to rejigger everybody's rights because when you start doing this, it means the other guy's rights have to be done too. And spending cuts unpopular yet not set to go away. Well, yeah, they're not going to. All they're going to do is do. Do uh, the House yesterday re rigger rejiggered the cuts so that it would be in other in programs that should have been to begin with. Like uh, there, there's uh, what was it? Uh, Senator Coburn found two hundred and fifty billion dollars in redundancies. That was, they said, the, he called a redundancy anything that was done more than twice. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you just got rid of any one redundancy, a, lo, a whole line, you came to more money than the sequester cost. And they said that, but he said, trying to get the government to reduce his staffing, you know, like, the, like they said that every member of Congress basically has redundancy built into them, so they have to have staff members for each one of the other things. Okay, say you're on the Agricultural Committee, in this thing, you're also on the Agricultural Committee in this panel, in this panel, in this panel, when it should only be one Agricultural Committee, period. Mm. And Underworld Saint becoming more popular in the U.S. Yeah. Underworld Saint? What is that? Okay, those are saints that uh, should uh, never have been uh, brought to sainthood to begin with because they were very, you know, like they, uh, they may not have actually ever existed. What? I mean, well, it sounds, I mean, when I think of Underworld, I think of a movie. No, it's just like, you know, the, the, there, there is the overworld, and then there's the sky above, and there's Underworld. The Underworld, people that have fought the Underworld saints, the Underworld have become saints, but they don't exist. It's like St. Patrick's did not drive the snakes out of Ireland. They never were any snakes in Ireland. Mm -hmm. And Oberlin cancels classes after a person in KKK outfit spotted on campus. Well, first, I hate to tell people this. If you're not wearing a mask, you can walk around in a... Okay, uh, how do you tell the difference between a Harry Potter follower and a member of the KKK? How? You can't. Oh! It was a Harry. It was not a KKK mm -hmm. member. It was a Harry Potter outfit. Oh. Isn't that something? The, but I guess the Harry Potter outfit was white. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. remember, one of the wiz, one of the big wizards was white. Oh. You know, so somebody was playing like, uh, you know, he was a wizard, folks, but the wrong wizard. <laughs> That's funny. He still was a wizard. Yeah. Napolitano airports feel impact from spending cuts. No, they're not. They, okay, not only did they not feel the impact, they're, they're hiring in 400 positions in the same airports that she said they laid people off at, which they, they just love this. I mean, they said that, uh, oh, here's one too, you're going to love this one. 
they got somebody. Okay, they really do not like this president at the at the and his uh, at the White House because somebody leaked a memo, you know, that basically was sent being sent out to the press and everyone else that you know that we need to make certain that that only where people get hurt are we going to do any layoffs and we want to keep in the press we need the press assistance to keep pounding away that the president doesn't want to do this but he's forced to by the George Bush and Republicans. Mm -hmm. And New York High School raises four hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars with Marathon Dance. Wow. Oh I hate to tell him this but that's it means they're probably going to they're they're probably doing something to go like to the Rose Bowl or something for that kind of money. I mean, four hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars from a dance. Oh, I mean, I used we did it. I mean, I okay, he's a good one. I, when we went, okay, I I went to USC, folks. We raised money doing actually a lot of cheerleaders and T-shirts and 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 bikini bottoms, washing people's automobiles to go to the Rose Bowl. Where USC? Anybody know? Where USC is located in conjunction to the Rose Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They raised a lot of money. We raised about two hundred some thousand dollars to go to the Rose Bowl, and we're all, all you got to do is to take the bus down the street to the Pasadena. So then they used the other money for other things. No, they didn't. We used it to go to the Rose Bowl. Are you serious? They all went to go to the Rose Bowl. Every dime of it went to go to the Rose Bowl. You guys had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> new uniform, and new instruments. See, that's that to do it. Yeah. yeah. Holy smokes, Batman! Batman nab suspect for the British police. I know a guy in a Batman outfit. Okay, you uh, uh, only in the city of Los Angeles and Hollywood and Highland can you wear superheroes outfit, but they're legal in the streets of England, though. Oh, it yeah. is. As long as you don't wear a mask, you can do. Uh, you can wear those costumes all the time. Oh, that's right. Like it, you can't. That's right. That's the only place that you can, huh? That's right. And actually, you can do it at Comic Con, yeah. and in Vegas, you can only do it one day a year. That's right? right. But one day a year, you can go in and out of casinos wearing a mask. Because here's the funny thing about Las Vegas: Halloween is the day the state became a state, also. Mm-hmm. And Casey Anthony speaks at bankruptcy hearing. I mean, there. Let's put it this way: the uh, the state bankruptor, they found her innocent. You know, they sent her to jail for, was it, God knows how long, found she was innocent, and then are charging her for all of the things that happened while she was in jail. Mm -hmm. They said, well, she lied. Well, first of all, lied about what? Because there is no, tr there is no proof that they ever found the body. There is no proof. Okay, they basically found it in an area that had been searched and found it six months later after it had been searched by a guy that just had a vision. Mm -hmm. So... And manhunt underway for gunman who killed South Carolina college student. Yeah, well, okay. That this is they're, they're, okay. You gotta hear. There's going to be shooting after shooting after shooting because oh, you know what Herbie Daddy said. Herbie Daddy said, "Did you realize the more gun control laws are, are the less violence there is in this nation?" Of course, that was put out by the Democratic Party because they'll say that uh, there has no been perceivable drop in violence due to the amount of laws. He said the more laws, the more pe more violence there is because the people that basically don't pay attention to the laws go get guns. Oh, oh every day he said they're really got one of the things they're going to push. They're going to make it a crime to sell a gun to a criminal that can't that can't get it legally. Well, mm -hmm. it's always been a crime. And storm that buried plains slams Great Lakes region. Oh yeah, and it's, it's really. I mean, okay, here it is. Well, I don't know how we're going to handle storms. We've never, I've never seen weather like what? this. <laughs> it's called normal weather. <laughs> it just, but what happens is they, uh, Mother Nature has some spells where the weather is nice and warm, and then it goes back to being naughty and really bad. And what happened is normal. It's really bad in the winter in the Great Lakes in Buffalo, New York, folks. And First Lady is not surprised by the reaction to the Oscars. Well, yeah, she's really surprised by the reaction because the people on the left pounded her horribly. They said that that was a, a, a it was an abuse. I mean, it, it, put it this way: she's running for president of the United States so that Barack Obama doesn't have to do it illegally. He can just have her be president. It's just going to be the same thing. Okay, if you elect Hillary, you get Bill, and everybody wants Bill. Mm -hmm. And North Korea says the Korean War is back on. Yeah, they, they, the armistice is now over, thanks to our president. So, 
Mm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay. Um, it is actually possible to go out and eat a full Chinese dinner and lose three pounds of weight. 